Hello, and welcome back to Teacher Time, Episode 2. Our special guest today is Mr. Nathan Bodenig. Welcome, Mr. Bodenig. Thank you, Maria. So I'm going to start off with a basic question that has been going around lately. Okay. So Adam Levine has been looking for his twin brother for years, and for some reason, he keeps on contacting you. Care to explain? I wish I could. If I am Adam Levine's twin brother, I think he got the better end of the deal. I will say that. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you Thanks. happen to be his brother, what would you want to do with him first? What would I want to do? I think we should make a visit to uh, the bank first. Would be a good first stop. Then maybe the car lot. Uh, and then probably get a realtor. I think would be our good uh, first day together. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, about your life. When you grew, um, were growing up, did you always have a favorite pet? I did. I had a dog. Her name was Molly. That's she was a golden retriever. Yeah. Really cute. That, yeah. that reminds me. I have some pets of my uh -huh. um, pets of my own at home. And my youngest one is Roxy, and she is their youngest kit, Cat. And then there's Sweetie, who's older, and she thinks the house is her lure box. Oh, yeah. And But otherwise, she's good. And growing up in college or high school, did you always have a good friend throughout school? Sure. I went to college with Mr. Boone, so we were good friends all through college. Mr. Boone went about seven years, so I got to hang out with him for a long time. He's pretty funny. <laughs> did he have hair back then? He did. He did. He did have hair. Um, yeah, he did. I bet I could rummage up a picture for you if you needed it. Cool. Growing up, like, who was your role model? My role model? Uh, I'll say my mom. She was always a good good parent, always there for me. So she, was, she was a good role model for me. Yeah. I look up to my parents a lot. Good. Too. My mom very good at what she does. My mom is good. I know your mom. She's a great mm -hmm. person. Yeah, I, I wish I could dye my hair. <laughs> um, her color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so when it comes to elementary, what um, did you always have a teacher that gave you a hard time? A teacher that gave me a hard time. I bet I did because I could, on occasion, not be the most uh, ruly student. So I, I bet there was a teacher or two that tried to, you know, give me a hard time. But it was probably well deserved. So yeah, I won't put any blame on the teacher. That's happened with me before. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second, Maria. Uh, well, it was when I was younger. Oh, the okay. teacher was, I didn't really like them because they were stern, but that happened. Happens to the best of us. What is your favorite holiday starting from the day you were born to now? A favorite holiday starting from the day I was born. You mean like the favorite one holiday, like one event? Yeah. Okay. Um, can't go wrong with Thanksgiving. Um, I always remember good Thanksgivings, eating and family and, and games and things like that. I don't know if I can pick one specific one. Yeah, Thanksgiving's always a good one. It's hard to say. I really like the Macy's Parade. Macy's Day Parade. That's good. In fact, in our latest episode, Mr. Clark mentioned that Thanksgiving would have had to be his favorite, too. So yeah. you guys have that in common. We like to eat, me and Mr. Clark. Yeah. We're, we're good eaters. That's what happens with my dad a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom gets kind of upset about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Another thing is, um, what movie was or TV show was your favorite when you were a young boy? TV show. Let's go with The Dukes of Hazard. Have you seen it? No. Oh, it's a classic. It's about uh, these guys that drive around in a car, cause a ruckus. I think that's about the whole show, every episode. That sounds like your typical teenage boy. It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good. Do you have a fa favorite sports team? I'm going to go with the Arizona Cardinals. That's my favorite sports team. Um, how come? Uh, growing up here, um, you know, we've had that football team here for a long time. I've always rooted for them. They never win, so I got hooked on them just to win. So I'm hoping someday that they come through. I just want one, Maria, just one Super Bowl, and then I'll, then I'll stop. <laughs> okay. What is one funny joke you think would be the funniest and you could remember off the bat? A joke, a funny joke. Ooh, let's see. A horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says, why the long face? <laughs> you know, because it's a horse. Yeah. It's a long face. Can <laughs> you get it, Maria? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so another question I wanted to ask, well, not more of a statement. Yeah. Um, there's been a rumor going around that you popped the question to your girlfriend. And I did. And you put a ring on it. <laughs> so... Yeah. 
what people would want to know is that when's the wedding and give us the details. When is the wedding? It is going to be in June. Um, we are not going to have a formal wedding. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to fly to Seattle, Washington, and drive down the coast of of the Pacific Ocean and stop at a little beach in, in June. Oh, well, that sounds really yeah. romantic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How long have you been knowing Beth? Oh, you even got the name. Good work. My mom's good told me not good to investi tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, about a year. We, we've been dating for about a year now. That's really cute. Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant to go to with her? Uh, there's a restaurant by um, our house called Windsor that we go to a lot. It's good. It's just like regular food, comfortable atmosphere, quality service. There you go. <laughs> Okay, last question before we head out today. Okay. Did you have? Do you have a best friend starting from when you're little and you're still friends with them now? Best friend from little to now. You know, actually, I've known Mr. Boone for probably 18 years now. So, high school, not somebody I'm particularly close with anymore. Uh, but I'll say Mr. Boone, we've, we've been solid good friends for like 18 years. That's, that's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah. Somebody I would say I would be close to is Ann, my friend Anna would, would be my sister, even though that's part of my family. Uh -huh. It's kind of a twin. All right, you twin. Can be friends with your <laughs> family. Yeah, it's like a twin thing. Okay. Um, uh, before we go, uh -huh. has Mr. Boone ever mentioned to you about how I do in school? He says you're excellent at school, especially any lesson that involves pirates. Yeah. He says I, that's where you really shine. I definitely love pirates. You do, you do. Do you have a favorite pirate? A favorite pirate? <sighs> Roberto Clemente was one of the best hitters of all time. Do you mean baseball pirate? Um, pirate Ship pirates? That is that oh, swashbucklers. Now. What did Blackbeard do? I always well, like that name. He mo like normal pirates. He stole, he killed, and he would oh, okay. attach little mini cracker fires in his beard to make people fear him. I like it. I'll take Blackbeard. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us You're again, welcome. Mr. Nathan Bodine. Please stay tuned for next episode. Enjoy your day. Thanks, Maria. I can now, baby.